Nixon at the Brownlow dinner at the Glass House. Tell me, Ricky, are you having a fabulous night? You're looking sharp. Yeah, look, it's been a great night so far. And like, for me, actually catching up with all the ex-players I used to manage, it's been fantastic. I did yeah. see a few people jump yeah. up and down when they saw you, yeah, saying you excited. were their first manager. Yeah. Wasn't that Richo inside? That's yeah, Richo in yeah. there and Wayne Carey and Jason Dunstall and Jack of Hughes, even Dougie Hawkins and Peter Dacos. It's been great. So it's like a little boys reunion It is a boys well. reunion, yeah. So I'm here with Dermot Burton at the Glass House Brownlow dinner. Now tell me Dermot, you were at the finals dinner last Saturday, what did you think? Well I went to the, the finals on uh, Saturday night with Richmond and uh, GWS at the, uh, at the MCG. Lovely dinner we had in there and then we watched the game. It was the most, one of the most extraordinary <laughs> games I've ever been to. Apart from being a fantastic footy game, to have 95,000 people in wow. there and 93,000 of them barracking for the one team. For the first time ever in my life, I picked up my phone and just filmed the crowd. It was insane. It was the most vibrant atmosphere of any final wow. I've ever been to. Just here with the amazing Brendan Favola. So tell me, how's the radio? Who's going to win at the Brownlow and who's going to win this Saturday? Yes, the radio's going very well. Number one breakfast show in Melbourne, which is great. So enjoying the time there with Fifi Box yes. and uh, Byron Cook, which is great fun. Uh, Dusty should win tonight, but a okay. lot of favourites get beaten, but I think he's had too good a year. My mum breaks for Richmond, so I'm, gonna be, I'm on the ticket train. Here with the one and only Duck Wayne Carey at the Brownlow dinner at the Glass House. Yes. Tell me, Wayne, how's your night? Who do you think's going to win? What a what a magnificent night it is! What a beautiful room. I've never been here before. It's incredible. Really nice room. I love it. I love the feel. I love the vibe. I tell you what, I'm <laughs> I'm going to be uh, captain, obvious. So Dusty Martin, I think will, will go win. Dusty. He Everyone's will, going I, go Dusty. I think he will win the Brownlow. So it's, I think for me, it's who will run second. I think Tom Mitchell. Right. It's a really good chance, had the most disposals ever in the really? game in one year, so he'll be competitive, but uh, Dusty will take home the brown line. And what about Saturday? What's your vibe? Yes, look, you know what, can't wait for Saturday. What a great grand final, obviously the Crows. It's almost a state of origin game. Okay. Crows v uh, Victoria. Um, Do you want to keep it in Victoria? Look, or? I've been on the Richmond bandwagon all year. I love yes. the Tigers. They're in the grand final. Oh, I don't know if I was... Adelaide at their best. I'm favouring Adelaide. Yes. But I'd love the Tigers to win. Well, at least you're being honest. Yeah. I, Let's I, keep I, it in I'd Victoria. I'd love the Tigers to win. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy Thanks. the rest of the evening and I'll see you in there. What happened to the Bulldogs? They won last year and... Well, we had a little bit of a distemper in the kennel. A dog, wow, I haven't had that flew. term. There's a dog flu going through the kennel. Really? And, um, it took our whole plane. <laughs> no, we just we just had a bit of bad luck. Our, our, um, our, um, our, our uh, back line fell apart. Uh, we lost, um, our midfield was struggling. We couldn't kick goals. No! And, and, you know, and what we did last year yes. was a miracle. Okay. And miracles only happen in, a, in your lifetime sometimes, so... They can happen twice. It, it, it was a miracle. <laughs>